Hey everyone, it's Meg, and we are back with more DC Animated Universe movies. Today we are going to watch Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Gatekeep, girl boss, queen. Just kidding. So what I know about this is that it's set in Victorian era London, which if you aren't familiar with the gaming channel, I'm currently playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I'm obsessed with. It got me into this whole like, you know, Jack the Ripper interest. And um, I'm reading romance books set in the Victorian era. And I'm just really intrigued by this. So when I learned that there was an animated movie with Batman and Victorian era and the costumes and the whatever. Like I was so excited and I feel like it's a great time to watch it because it's October. It's Halloween spoopy month. Um, and also I have heard that the director has done a lot of animated movies, quite a few good ones like Soul of the Dragon and then I think some Justice League ones, which I'm really excited to watch Soul of the Dragon. I am really grateful that y'all are on this journey with me. And also, if you've been following along more closely, I am going a bit out of order from the original list that I plan to do. But that just means there's more freedom now. Don't worry too much about spoilers. Don't worry too much about recommending things that are, you know, not in that order. I'm not being as strict and it's not going to be as you have to follow this. You can't hear any, you know. It's chill, okay? And I'm having a good time. I'm so excited. This is very Halloween, but you know what it says? It says bloodless. Feels a bit woozy. And it's from um, Baldur's Gate. Getting bitten by a vampire. Spoiler alert. But yeah, I'm so happy you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. I think that's all I had to tell you. Of course, it's not working. Why is it in Spanish? Bro, my audio was in Spanish. Three, two, one, go. That would be fun. Uh, Espanol. Is that the River Thames? I hope this is uh, Jack the Ripper has a... Oh my God, I love this animation. Stop. I hope Jack the Ripper makes a... A woman? Of course. An appearance. But is she human? That's another story. The Gotham Gaiety Girls presents Gaiety Girls. Ivy, the Plant Lady. <gasps> oh, I love this costume. This ivy is poison. Dare you taste her forbidden fruit? Yes, dare. I see those leaves fall. <laughs> She's not happy. Oh, she looks so pretty in her little Victorian outfit. No. Oh my god, stop! Wait. No, I'm gonna be really upset if it's Jack the Ripper. I don't like Jack the Ripper anymore. I'm a bad bitch until he actually shows up and then I get really scared and upset that he killed those people. <laughs> those women. You gave no. Me start. I got a generous nature. Oh. My room's not far. I think it's Jack the Ripper, though, because of the satchel. No. Could just be a murderer. No, no! You gotta pay the tariff. Ain't that right, Dickie? Don't you worry, Bill. We're on the job. That's why you gotta pay us. We're protecting you from monsters. Child mafia. Pay, pay them, <laughs> rich people. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my gosh, look at him in Victorian London. I wish they were self-governed. I could support them more, but I don't like that they have an adult leader. Kids really had it hard in this era. <laughs> Close your eyes, kids. Go home. Am home. Yeah, they don't home have a home. Mommy. They don't Keep have a home. Yeah. None of us do. Yeah. Before we run off from something even worse than this. Taking something back from Gotham. Make something else. Something better. Wait. <laughs> oh, so Gotham is like London. Okay. Theoretically. Go to St. Cadwalla's, ask for Sister Leslie. 
sister Leslie. Get off the street now. I thought the victims didn't scream, so maybe it's not Jack the Ripper. I swear it's Jack the Ripper though, because um the satchel. He had a doctor's satchel. Wouldn't she have stopped screaming by now? Also, I feel like he, they didn't scream. So is it gonna be one of the villains? Oh, that's so creepy. It could be any of them, honestly. So Poison Ivy is the Ripper's first victim? Wow. Turn this dream into a magnificent reality, gentlemen. That and Bruce Wayne's money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoken like a true county prosecutor, Mr. Dent. <laughs> of the Gotham World's Fair. Okay, shit. Wow. Couldn't have, like, cleaned up the rest of the city? I mean, I guess that's the criticism for Batman Gotham that's in New York. Uh... I'm confused. Gotham's own answer to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay, funny. At the astonishing rate of 15 miles an hour. Heavens, can the human body even survive that kind of motion? <laughs> Most certainly not. <laughs> Dr. Hugo Strange. Oh, are you Jack the Ripper? I'm sus of everyone. Won't provide the same assurance to the ladies of Gotham, Mr. Mayor. Women are being gutted in the streets like wild game, and the Gotham police stand twiddling their thumbs. Selena? I'm sure Miss Kyle's lovely voice is better suited to the stage of the Monarch Theater. I assure you, visitors so to that's this Gordon. Fair, men and women alike, will be safe from... Jack. Jack the Ripper. Okay. That's what he calls himself in the letter he sent the Gotham Gazette, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, you know I've pledged to clean up Gotham, and I mean all of it. It's that bad creature we've been reading about. That's... Oh, no. Your charity house is what draws these pests in. Charity house. I love that that's Bullock. <gasps> well, as I live and breathe. Dashing. Dashing, Bruce. <gasps> oh, my God. Hey. You know, I like to keep a low profile. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. I love this bullock. Oh, cute. I've seen the bodies, Bruce. Cut to pieces like an autopsy. Like an autopsy, but he was stabbing him so hard. The latest victim was one of our orphanage girls. It was Pamela. What? She was an orphanage girl. Dancing, then the opium. And now we can't save them all. I'm sorry, Bruce. Oh. I know those orphans are close to your heart. Your evening attire has already been laid out, sir. Alfred's just the same in this because he would fit right in. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. So it's like if Gotham, it is Gotham in the Victorian area era, but it's in America. I thought they were in London, but this is this is really cool. Like what if Batman was around and all these characters were alive? No, please, Selena, don't die. Is she Catwoman in this? Because <laughs> I don't think Ivy was Poison Ivy. And I don't know a lot about Poison Ivy's backstory, like with her family. Interesting that she was in an orphanage. Stop. Uh, there would be more people around is the thing. There were. Sorry, I know a lot about it. There's a lot of homeless people, and that's how he got his victims, because he just, like, he, there's a theory and a lot of evidence supporting it that they were just asleep when he got them. Especially, like, sex workers, prostitutes, they were, you know, not doing, they didn't have places to go. So he... Yeah, it's really sad. But it was more densely populated than that for sure. But I understand the drama of it. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. No. <gasps> they did suspect he was either a doctor or worked in a butcher shop. Oh, it is Selena. I think he was on the police force. That's like the... 
that's the theory I like the most right now. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. I love her whip. This is healing me, watching Selena fight Jack the Ripper! Get him. Shoot, he knows how to fight. So... Oh, wonder if he's Jason Todd. Nice. No. I love when they work together as a team. Ooh. Miss. Damn you. You would have choked. You did need him a bit. I'll never have a better chance of stopping that butcher, and you squandered it playing the knight in shining armor. I can take care of myself. <laughs> don't be so sure. He's more skilled than I would have thought. Yeah. I don't need or want your help. Let me assure you, I am quite capable of. <laughs> Cute. I love that she's taking such a strong stance in fighting him. So this is the second one of the five. Wait, it was Barbara? Barbara! Hush. Oh, the gosh. Have to be up for hours. What is it, James? What's wrong? Dream. Just a dream. Oh. He's determined. Hey! Oh, damnation! <laughs> Don't be alarmed. It's too late for that. Back in the Union camp at Culpeper, soldiers would sometimes ignore a feral cat just to keep the rat population in check. Approximately six foot three inches, 250 pounds, left-handed. Good fighter. Trained. Not just a brawler. James? Stay inside, Barbara. I'll be in directly. I'll be in directly. Every woman in Gotham is in danger, Commissioner. Including Barbara. From Jack to the Gotham Gazette. We've convinced them to refrain from publishing it. From hell. This house is my refuge, set apart from all the Bye. corruption of God. <laughs> James, your eggs are ready. Even in this era. How interesting that it's, he's a veteran, so he served in the Civil War. He said Union Camp, right? So they're tying that in as well. I am down on whores and I shan't yep, quit Yep, I remember this letter. do get buckled. Grand work the last job was. I hardly gave the lady no time to squeal. This is the letter. Catch me now. Oh my God, Bruce. Defend them. A little light reading, Master Bruce. A little light reading, yep. <laughs> That's Caleb when I'm investigating the Ripper. The hand is that of a man with some education disguised to look like a man with none. Oh, yeah. So you've said. Your evening attire, sir. I love this Alfred's voice. I believe you know that was not the suit I was referring to when I said I'd be going out tonight. <laughs> he looks so young and cute. I'm obsessed with this Bruce. Have some fun, Bruce. Oh, there she is. J. Augustus Henpeck Brown bought himself a ticket for the show. So her, this is personal to Selena. Because these are her girls. Even the woman is like, <laughs> Can you tame wild women? Ooh. So they'll always lead a sweet and simple <laughs> life. Bruce, I'm in love. <laughs> well, that's great news, Harvey. I'm sure your wife will be glad to hear it. Oh, oh please, Bruce, this is the 19th century. Oh, Marriage goodness. is more like a business arrangement. Besides, what Gilda doesn't know won't hurt her. Um. Selena's the most amazing gal, Bruce. You'll see. I think I already do. Oh, this movie's after my own heart. I'm such a Selena Bruce stripper. Did you enjoy my performance, Mr. Wayne? Oh, she was blowing the kiss at Mr. Wayne. Oh, the way he looked at her. But I'm nobody's pet. Mm-hmm. That if men were being slaughtered, Tolliver would hire an army of policemen to find this ripper. Exactly, girl. Agree. 
If it were affluent women, society ladies, oh. the outcry might be deafening. Actually, Jack that's true. Targets destitute women. Wait, that is so true. Out, no one hears. Look at I them. <laughs> you're ignoring the third wheel tragedy here. That's so true, Bruce. Uh, you are third wheeling majorly. Well, there's the Wayne Fortune, but I'm sure you didn't forget that, did you, Selena? Oh my God, Harvey. Settle down. When he drinks, he's an entirely different person. <gasps> a regular Jekyll and Hyde. Get it, Two Face? Tame wild women. Sorry. Unfortunately, men only. At least we still have something. Bro. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I think the doorman was quite convinced that I'm a man. It's so cute. Dismissed. You're too kind. I've heard. You don't know me. I know most other men would have abandoned Harvey hours ago. You've been pouring your drinks in potted plants <gasps> all night. Ooh. You were raised in a small regional circus, probably in a family of performers. Aww. That some traumatic event, possibly connected to the scar in your left arm that you try to conceal, that you take it upon yourself to act as champion of the voiceless. Which you no doubt learned from our mutual friend, Sister Leslie Tompkins. She was the one who told me you were kind. Aww. And she should know. She took me in, too. Aww. I've been a fool. Wait, why? You know, I thought it might have been um, Jason Todd because the red scarf reminded me of the red hood. So I think it could be Joker or Jason Todd. I think they could also consider a woman, too. Some ripperologists think it was a woman. I don't think so. I think I, I, I don't know. I don't think it was anyone special. Why are they investigating Leslie? Oh, it's going to be somewhat. Oh, they think they're going to kill. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Because of the letter. They linked it to the letter. <gasps> outside, outside, outside. Okay. Oh my god. So this is it then. Is she new? Well, I won't beg. I won't give you the satisfaction. It could be Harvey. I forgive you. <gasps> oh my gosh. No! It's personal now. Is that his back cave? Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's a membership pin from the Dionysus Club. Harvey? Including the mayor, Harvey, even Hugo Strange, virtually every wealthy man oh. in Gotham. Testing your fingerprints theory again. You know they'll never admit that sort of thing as evidence. <laughs> he invented fingerprint evidence? <laughs> I have my own manner of mourning. Revenge. I mean justice. Amen. Amen. Even Bruce said amen. It's funny because I don't think Bruce in modern day would let Alfred hold his umbrella. <laughs> Mr. Wayne? Um, Dr. I guess it Hugo could be Strange, him. I read your monograph on the habits of clinically degenerate lunatics. You believe their cure lies in surgery. Ablation Lobotomies. Of the frontal cortex. The scalpel solves everything. Oh, God. He is here. Oh. I am certain of it. You know who he is. Pardon me, Mr. Wayne. The commissioner was wondering if you'll be coming to the memorial. I guess it could be him. That'd be a weird choice, though, Bullock. I'm sure you could find a way to tell the Batman to come to my office. Does he know that he's Batman? Hmm. Strange is really scary. A pickpocket? <laughs> I'm afraid you lack the subtlety to be an effective cat purse, young fellow. Cat purse? You think that's so Sister Leslie'd want you to act at her own funeral? 
but I'm hungry. Oh. Jason is not worth the trouble. Wait, is that Jason Todd? Todd? Maybe. Orphans. Sister Leslie did what she could for us. She fed us. She tried to teach us right. <laughs> I occasionally have odd jobs of need doing. Call upon me here. You'll not go away hungry. Oh, oh, cute. They also might know about the Ripper. I recognized you sneaking around the churchyard. You're I'm gonna. You've made a mistake. Put him at the crime scene. When I tell oh. the coppers what I know. Get your hands off me. If you think you can do me like you did, Sister Leslie, you're dead wrong, fella. Go pay up if you know what's good for you. Didn't she see all of it, though? Maybe not. I guess we'll see all the villains that isn't. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad for an asylum. Oh, no. Ah, uh, here you are. That looks like the Ripper. Yeah, I don't, I think that's the Ripper. So it's not him. It's not Hugo. He has like gray hair. You can't! Hugo Strange is a victim. Okay, this is kind of turning it all upside down. <gasps> Damn, he keeps, keeps coming just a second too late. And that's not normal for Batman. No! My God! Oh. No! Ah! Mm. Ripping. Nice. A blimp! Oh, gosh. Who is this? Very good, very good. <gasps> no way, why? The Batman has murdered Doctor Strange and escaped in the police airship. He's heading right for you. Whoa. Yeah, so if they're gonna witness Batman chasing the Ripper, I would hope that they'd assume Batman is not the Ripper. I guess it could be like Joker's, like it could be Joker, the origin of the Joker. Whoa. <gasps> I love this. Oh, I love the colors. It's like, I, it's like gold, but like dirty gold. Be careful. Someone's going to fall into the fan. I don't like it. I don't like it. It freaks me out. Oh! Oh, damn. Ooh. Oh! Oh, seriously, no one saw. Where's Gordon? Could it even be Bullock if he went that quickly? I think it's got to be the Joker. Keep firing, boy. Shoot to kill. Belay that order. There he is. We don't know what happened for certain, Bulldog. Thank you. No lynch mob on my watch. Do you Thank understand? You. I mean, it looked like the Ripper had gray hair. Very nice. Very risky, but very nice. <laughs> could be anyone on the street. Oh, shoot. It really leans into that fear that it could be anyone. See, that guy has gray hair. Hop on. Get in. Nice. Is she not suspicious of you? <laughs> there we go. The belt and gloves must go immediately. It wouldn't do to have them find your 
stage wear. <laughs> Open up in the name of the law. <laughs> Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> um, no, Mr. Wayne. That's hilarious. Just, uh, Anything else, gentlemen? Uh, no. Excuse me, sir. Bye, panic. <laughs> Can't love them both so much. You were very convincing. I'm an actress, darling. Didn't you know? Mm. I'm the toast of Gotham. You must commit completely to the role. Repetition. <gasps> you must practice. 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 The boys just found her. <gasps> what? So... Oh. Purple. Ah, <gasps> pretty. The entire production is mine, you know? I'm not just another pretty face. Oh, she owns it. And then, of course, in your fighting style and the whip, expert, lion tamer. Oh. I grew up with those cats. Oh, I love this. And now you look after all the strays in Skinner's End. Someone has to. Aww. They don't have anyone else to protect them. Oh, how sweet. They're here. Oh, they're murdering him. I mean, <laughs> they're arresting him. Jeez. Oh, a thousand pardons, Miss Clark. A thousand pardons. Bruce Wayne, you are under arrest for the murder of one Oh, Harley no. Bubble. But he has an alibi. I'll contact Harvey. He'll clear this all up. I wouldn't be counting oh. on Mr. Dent being too helpful, Lassie. He's the one who suggested we look for Mr. Wayne in your hotel. He's jealous. Damn. So that means he's kind of watching. Maybe. So it could be Harvey. Get him out of my sight. Oh. Physical evidence. A lapel pin of the Dionysus Club, to which Mr. Wayne is a member, was discovered at the site of Sister Leslie's murder. Was subsequently discovered mutilated in the same barbaric manner as the other victims. After reportedly attempting to extort cash from the accused. The accused will be remanded to the custody of Blackgate Penitentiary until such time as a trial by jury can be arranged by the county. Is it Harvey? This is not looking good. I can see how he would be such a perfect jack you know i love what you've done with the place selena what are you doing here? i wash you must liberate yourself immediately batman has an ironclad alibi for the first murder gotham needs the batman to help rid the streets of this aye, aye, aye. i'm sorry selena i can't the batman's effectiveness depends upon every the moment secret. you're in here puts women in danger if you won't tell gordon then i will be he won't believe, believe you, you. He'll believe this. I'll be damned if I'll let another girl be murdered so you can keep your precious secret. Understandable. Bring this to my townhouse on Bell Avenue and my man there will give you $100. Um, <laughs> what? Maybe Jack the Ripper's racial ghoul. <laughs> I'm just going crazy now. Who will face Cyrus Gold? I'll give it a whirl. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Uh oh. Is he gonna escape from Blackgate? Oh my god. Oh, changing. Why are you sitting on your asses? It's a damn Donnie Brook in there. <laughs> very nice, very nice. <laughs> He's proud of himself. So his code, was it for Alfred? As soon as one lover boy is unavailable, you're on to the next He's child. so jealous. I can't imagine what I ever saw in a whore like you. Oh, <gasps> you gotta be the Ripper. Oh, so maybe the code was for Alfred. Alfred got the boys. This is where that Giza told us to go. Yes. I knew they would come in useful. Yay. I do think that's supposed to be Jason Todd. Ooh, it's creepy at night. I actually ordered bath towels and they were the color of the sky and they're called wild moss. 
It would make sense if it was Joker who's Jack the Ripper. You're Miss Kyle, the actress, aren't you? Yes, Commissioner. We met before at the preview. That's creepy. Because if it was at the fairgrounds, like that's so Joker coded. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's Gordon. He's a good man. <gasps> the best man in this horrible city. You're not allowed in there. Are they doing it together? <gasps> no, 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 no. No way, dude. <gasps> PTSD? Oh my god, she knew. I'll never look at Gordon the same way again. Doing what he needs to do. His holy work. Cleaning the scum from Gotham. <gasps> no, he's gentle as a lamb with us. Us. He simply burns the sin out of us. We need him to. Good lord. I was not expecting this. <laughs> Holy shit. <gasps> there it is. There it is. But it looked, his hair looked gray. <gasps> they tricked us. Oh my God, dude. Oh, she's still going. And I did say. 3% heroin and alcohol. Barbara's physician prescribes it for acute insomnia. Oh my god. But it is hardly a cure for harlotry. Harlotry. Ah. Ah. You'll pay for that, slut! You know, I did say my favorite theory right now is that it was someone on the police force. I'm traumatized by this. Oh my god. I also kind of love it. In a weird way. Because <laughs> he's trained. He's a veteran. He would have the knowledge of all the streets. He could get away with a lot more. He can fight. It's the PTSD, I think. And maybe it, it hardened him. I don't know. The oversweet fragrance you use to cover your putrefying stench nearly burns my eyes. Gordon! Oh, wow, the blood. The thing is, I think he does have five victims and he's only killed four so far. So I don't know. Wow, it even looks like a little top hat on the bat. I promised the people of Gotham to clean the scum off the streets. Thieves, murderers, confidence men, immigrants, illiterates, oh! anarchists. This city seems to spawn them. You painted whores that are the worst. All rosy cheeked, soft and round on the outside. But on the inside, your blood shall christen this fair woman. Your corruption and decay will spill down over this carnival as a warning to all your kind. Shall we begin? This may take quite some time. Oh my god, stop. It's so scary! Yes! I don't think he'll get her then. And on the, the fairground, that's so cool. Like on the Ferris wheel. There were no rules at Antietam though, were there, James? There oh. are no rules in hell. From hell? I love all these like direct tie-ins with the Ripper. The entirety yeah. of humanity's evil was there for all to see. Mm. On the inside of every man. <laughs> oh no, honey, please. That's so scarily beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that.
beautifully animated baptism by fire you're going down well i want you to answer for your crimes that's for fucking sure wives they're the worst prostitutes of all sell themselves too cheap that slut none of yours what okay you've lost all common sense obviously <laughs> Oh my god, this is making me nervous! The world of tomorrow is burning, exposing wow. the ashes of degradation hiding beneath. I paid Houdini $300 for that <laughs> trick. Time to go. He's gonna throw himself. Yeah, he's going. He's baptizing himself in the fire. He does not want to answer to his crimes. No! Okay, get out of the fire, bats. That was like a Joker laugh. But even Joker hasn't had that level of misogyny. It's wild how unlikable Gordon is as a villain. Yeah. Oh. Help them in, lads. Lively now. <laughs> Cute buddies. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Do these belong to you, Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, no, sir. They belong to you. I love that. Oh. Say goodbye to your ridiculous God. world. God. Yeah. New and world the hope of Gotham with it. Oh, it was no. all phony anyway. Exactly. We'll make something new. Mm -hmm. Something better. Ain't that the truth? With our showgirl and our Batman and our little runts. Oh, I love that. Wow, this is a huge reason why <laughs> I love Batman because you can take him and put him anywhere. Whether it's like a different time period or just even, you know, a different location, you can put him in these historical places and times and, and major events and historical figures. And the characters are so strong. The relationships are so strong. Villains, um, Bruce Wayne, Batman as a character, the, you know, the detective bones of it are just so strong that you can put them anywhere and it's fun and it's interesting and it's almost cathartic in a way because as someone who has been you know investigating jack the ripper it's honestly really frustrating that we didn't solve that and you know a very popular theory is that the ripper was a cop and so like I feel like this was just a really awesome, intriguing, well thought out idea of like, well, if it was a cop, what if it was like Commissioner Gordon, you know? Um, so I would say that was one of my favorite animated <laughs> movies that I've seen. Batman DC animated movies. I would definitely put that in my top five. I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if people really like this one I can see how it might cause some strife because it's so different and it is a little weird but I actually really 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 liked that um and I, I don't know if that's controversial I that was one of my favorites I have to say and for a number of different reasons it was so crazy and I feel like I don't know if anyone could predict that plot twist <laughs> that it would be Gordon and I'm confused because he did have that dream where he was like murdering Barb was it himself murdering Barbara I don't know do you remember he woke up from that dream and hugged her wow that was just interesting so it did trick us. And then he did come out. Remember, I was like, where's Gordon? And he came out, but he did have time to change. And he was already on the scene. So 
Maybe, maybe some people did catch it. I don't know. I'm not. I liked that reveal though. It was really creepy because you saw all these clues of like him uh, in the union camp and, and he was obviously doing like medical stuff there as well. And the newspaper clippings and um, honestly, that little lab that he had, that little office um, looked a lot like the Batcave. Interesting parallel there. And, you know, Bruce, Batman, and Gordon do have similar parallels. So I think that was intentional because Batman shares similar traits to the villains. And in this case, Gordon was a villain. Um, and, you know, Gordon so far has always been such a pure character. That's how, why I can imagine maybe there's some pushback on this film and comic. But... His idea of, you know, cleaning up Gotham, changing Gotham from the inside out. It's this very strong ideal that can either make him a very good person, like in other, in the original iteration, but it's also, it has a potential for corruption and can lead you down a very dark path. And what if he had all these elements of like misogyny and um, stuff like that, that were society kind of pushing it on him where he specifically, you know, he at first, you know, it's disenfranchised women because I think that's what he knew he could get away with. But then he was even saying stuff about wives being prostitutes and sluts and, you know, all this stuff. So it was definitely just misogyny in general. I think he targeted, you know, disenfranchised women because that's uh, easier and he could get away with it. But I do really like this idea because it's just DC is a wonderful exploration of what if. And there are adaptations where, you know, Poison Ivy turns into a hero and Catwoman goes from hero to villain and does dark things and then does really good things. And, you know, Joker goes back and forth and Superman goes back and forth. So what if, what if one of our beloved characters is just like he was, he was really dark. And I think it was the perfect setting to explore it because a lot of us do believe that Jack the Ripper was a cop because of how he got away with so much stuff. So I loved that. I loved the animation. I think that fairground final fight with the fire was probably my favorite fairground fight. And there, that happens a lot in Batman movies where, especially if it's like the Joker, you there's a final fight at, at the fair. But I just think that the colors and then the fire animation were just so beautiful and spot on. Um, that that was my favorite. I loved it. I loved it on the Ferris wheel. I loved watching Selena as well, trying to escape and her being drugged and stuff, but still saving Batman. Loved that. I loved her relationship with Bruce. This, you know, just kind of hit the nail on the head for me. It was, it's definitely up there with Batman Telltale. Like I really loved the time that they dedicated to developing their relationship and it was just fun and mysterious and explorative you know the practice makes perfect it was sexy it was just all the reasons why i love them and they really did act equally as a team and selena from the beginning was going to get the ripper you know she was really set on it and she's the perfect victim for the Ripper because she's a powerful fucking woman who knows what she's doing, owns her sexuality, and also protects other women. So, interesting. Um, and it's also interesting because I was... I started this book called The Five, which I kind of enjoyed, but I had to ultimately put down because that author's view of sex work and prostitutes was so blatantly bad 
Um, she was basically trying to argue that like three of the five victims of the Ripper, you can't prove that they were prostitutes. And she kept trying to hammer that point over and over. And it was just like, okay, so what if they were? Like her whole point was it's sexist to assume that they were prostitutes and they were sex workers and all this stuff. And for me, it's like, it literally, it should not matter if they were prostitutes enough. Like she literally said, they weren't soliciting, they weren't soliciting. No one should be brutally murdered like that. Anyways, it's just very victim blaming. Um, but the whole point of that was, I appreciate that one of the main characters of this movie hires sex workers. She's a showgirl. She owns those performers, like the performance venue. She takes care of them. She protects them. Um, I really love interpretations of Selena Kyle where she owns being either being a sex worker or having a past with it. And she like owns a brothel or a, you know, a venue of sorts where it deals with different versions of sex work. Cause that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people have this idea that it's either, you know, you're, you know, selling yourself, you're selling sex specifically, which is totally fine. Or you're nothing like you're just, and there's so much, in between, especially in the Victorian era, there's so much in between. Um, it was very transactional. And I love that this movie, which probably I think came out before that book, was more progressive in that way because Selena Kyle was Catwoman and also showgirl. And also she was advocating for their, their rights. She was the one who went up and was like, you guys aren't doing enough about this Jack the Ripper. Um, and also like managed these sex workers and, and women. And she had a circus background and she was a fully formed character. So I loved that. And just something that I really appreciated. And, um, just a huge reason why I love Selena. <sighs> That's, I mean, I could, y'all know, I could blab on and on and on about this Moby and all the other movies, but I really enjoyed that. And um, it was, it was also just cathartic to see with this, you know, serial killer that will never really know who it is. You know, it's just impossible to know at this point. It didn't happen that long ago. If you really put it into context, there are descendants of the victims that are still alive and people who are affected. So it's just cathartic to see all of it play out and then justice be delivered through Batman. Like I think that through these superhero movies and shows and comics, we're able to deal with like really scary things because Jack the River was not the only serial killer that has existed, obviously. And so to put it in the context of Batman where we can kind of like cope with it, it's a, it reminds me of our brains you know, when we go to sleep dreaming and recontextualizing to cope with trauma and scary shit. And so I love that Batman isn't afraid. The DC creators are not afraid to tackle dark stuff like that. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Um, and cathartic to see, cause he was burned in the fire, back to some by fire, bitch. And I love, you know, the kids just being like, we'll make a new world. Because his idea of a world, that's what led to just horrible genocide, ethnic cleansing, misogyny, war, just like all this horrible, horrible stuff. That's the rhetoric, you know, women are full of sin, uh, like just people of color, disabled people, like we need to make this new world, blah, 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 burn in a fire, bitch. <laughs> I love it. And it's true, like just watching this group of little grunts you know, little poor kids. And then this guy in a costume who has trauma and he's in a bat costume. And then this showgirl who has a whip and owns her sexuality and her power. That's the world I would like to see. It's lovely. I love it. Anyways, thank you so much to my tier four patrons, John G. Robinson, Light Yagami, Music Lover, and Rubidium Moon 
for producing this video. I so, so appreciate you. And thank you to all my other patrons and YouTube members um, for supporting this channel. Literally would not be doing this without you. So thank you. And everyone, you know, in the DC fandom who has been watching all my stuff especially like the animated stuff. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for exploring such a thorough, wonderful universe with me. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to read the comic. I think I, I have to get it. I don't have it. Anyways, take care of yourselves. Be well, and I will see you for the next animated movie. Bye.